Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. So I'm just going to be up front with you uh, today and tomorrow are essentially going to be sort of wide open, blatant pitches for my new WordPress course. If you've been following along, you'll know that tomorrow the launch week special ends for that course. So after tomorrow, Wednesday the 28th at midnight Pacific Standard Time, the price of the course is going to go up. And so with it winding down, I want to just sort of, I've been talking a lot about the course. I want to sort of just give you this sort of straight pitch. So today I'm going to talk about just specifically what's in the course and, and, and go through that. And then tomorrow I'm going to sort of give you my final appeal for why I think you should take the course. So with that said, in the course, what I do is I show you how to build a contact form plugin in WordPress. And the idea here is for this to be an introduction to building WordPress plugins. So it's not everything that you could ever want to know, but the idea is for you to actually build something real while at the same time learning a lot of the fundamentals of WordPress plugin building. So here's a rundown of some of the skills that I've laid out that you're going to learn in this course. So you're going to learn how to properly organize your files and folders inside of WordPress, which is actually a thing because you can do it any which way you want, but there are some sort of standards when it comes to that. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the WordPress WordPress plugin header, which is a required thing in WordPress plugins. And it's really the thing that makes your plugin a plugin. And so you can activate it inside of WordPress and all that. It's sort of the bare minimum you need to get going. We'll talk about using PHP classes within WordPress because that it sort of makes things a little bit different the way you do it. We'll actually talk, of course, about how to build a contact form. I use a PHP class for doing that. And we'll sort of talk about that. We'll go through WordPress action and filter hooks. I actually go inside of the WordPress core and show you what the different what action hooks are and what filter hooks are, the difference between the two and where you can find them and how you can find them and all that sort of thing. So you understand the WordPress hooking system and what you're actually doing when building a plugin. I'll show show you how to create WordPress short codes. It's uh, short codes are sort of a a way of hooking into WordPress without actually uh, without actually using action and filter hooks. So it's not a hundred percent technically tr- uh, accurate, but um, it's it's a way of adding content to a page. And, and so we'll go through those. How to add custom CSS and JavaScript in WordPress by in queuing uh, styles and scripts. So we'll go through that. How to create a custom post type with all of the different settings that you can do for that. The proper way to handle form submission. So I've talked uh, uh, quite a bit about this in past episodes, but using admin posts and that sort of thing. Inserting posts into a custom post type. So WP insert posts will show you how to use that. How to send emails in WordPress. WordPress has its own email function. Very similar to PHP's, but we'll show you how to use it. Handling redirects within WordPress. Uh, the right way to add URL parameters with it in, in WordPress, and also how to add custom columns to a post table. So if you go into WordPress and say you click on posts and you see a list of all of p- the posts that you've created on your site so far, that table will have different columns. Well, you can add and customize those columns. You can reorder them. You can add new columns. You can take away existing ones and so forth. So I, I walk you through how to do that. Now, these are some of the things that you might expect to to find in a course like this, but you're not going to because of the way that we built this. And again, I sort of talked about this, but we're not going to talk about creating custom tables in WordPress. We're not going to talk about inserting data into a custom table. We're not going to talk about adding custom menus. And we, we really, we don't do anything with the WordPress database class. And basically the reason why is because when you're building a plugin, as I've mentioned, you can choose between using custom post types or using custom database tables when when storing your data in WordPress, uh, in WordPress, and in most cases, custom post types are the way to go. So that is what I chose to show you here. And when you when you do that, that essentially eliminates your need to use custom tables to insert data into them, to use custom menus, and to work with uh, WordPress database. So that's why you're not going to find 
those things in there. And and that just is the scope of this particular course. I, I do plan on doing other WordPress courses, and in those courses I may go into custom tables. But in any case, like I said, when you use custom post types, you don't need any of those those things that I just mentioned. So WordPress does most of it for you, which is the benefit of custom post types. So that's sort of the skills, but here's just a down and dirty list also of the WordPress functions that will be covered in this course. So if you're wanting to learn more about these WordPress functions, you'll find them in here. So we're gonna have register post type, we have get post meta, we have get the excerpt, we have add action, add short code, WP and Q style, plugins URL, short code ats, admin URL, escape URL, WP create nonce, WP verify nonce, WP die, sanitize text field, sanitize text area field, sanitize email, WP insert post, is WP error, get users, WP mail, WP redirect, add query arg, and get permalink. So those are those WordPress functions are all inside of the code and we go through those. So again, if those are things that you want to learn more about, then uh, those are in the course. So as you can see, you're going to learn a ton about WordPress and its built-in functions. And then more importantly, how to take all of this and put it all together to build a plugin. And of course, the source core code for the example plugin that we build is included uh, in your downloads for you to follow along as you learn. So that's sort of my blatant pitch talking through exactly what uh, is inside of the course. If you're ready to enroll, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash WordPress course. As I mentioned, this special launch week discount ends tomorrow, February 28th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So after that, the price of the course is going to go up. So if you want to get it at the discounted price, now is the time to do that. So that's it. Again, it's johnmorrisonline.com slash WordPress course. That'll do it for this episode. Thanks for listening. If you have somebody you think might be interested in the course, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. Also, all the other episodes for the course, all the past episodes, subscribe links for iTunes, Android, tune in, all that, johnmorrisshow.com. And if you rate and review the podcast over on iTunes, I'll send you module one of my PHP 101 course for free. You can get all the details for that at johnmorrisshow.com. Just click on the start here link at the top. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.